Hello everyone. Welcome back to Kimets. Today we are discussing about the topic Pollution Control Board Duties and Responsibilities. There are two types of Pollution Control Boards. Central Pollution Control Board and State Pollution Control Board. This have been constituted accommodating officials, non-officials, people from government controlled industrial sector etc for the prevention and control of pollution in india particularly in the air and water do you know what are the duties and responsibilities of a pollution board we can discuss the functions of this central pollution control board firstly to advise the central government on matters concerning the improvement of quality of air and water. Secondly, to lay down the standards for the quality of air and water. Then, to provide the technical and financial assistance as well as guidance to the state pollution control boards in the various fields of pollution control. Then, to organize Training in special methods for persons engaged and to be engaged in the prevention and control of water and air pollution and sponsor research in the field. Then, to plan and execute nationwide program for the prevention and control of all kinds of pollution. Then, to spread awareness through mass media among the general public about comprehensive programs regarding prevention and control of all kinds of pollution. Then, to coordinate the activities of the state boards and resolve disputes among them. Then, to collect, compile and publish technical and statistical data and prepare codes manuals and gates relating to air and water pollution and their prevention. These are the various functions of Central Pollution Control Boards. Then, what are the functions of State Pollution Control Board? They have similar functions that of Central Pollution Control Board. Each state will have its own pollution control board. The duties and responsibility of the State Pollution Control Board includes to advise the state government on matters concerning the improvement of the quality of air and water. Then to advise the state government about the sustainability and or non-sustainability of granting permission for an industry with regard to the possibility of all kinds of pollution. Then, to identify the problematic areas within the state eligible to be declared as pollution prevention and control areas in respect of water pollution or air pollution. And advise the state government to make the declaration for the further special care for that area. Then, to plan a comprehensive program for the prevention and control of air and water pollution and execute it throughout the state. Then, to modify and determine the standards of air and water quality for the state in consultation with the state and central governments. Then, to lay down standards for the treatment of sewage and industrial effluents as well as for the exhaust gases from the industries. Then, to inspect any industrial plant, manufacturing process or any implemented pollution control mechanism and to give orders to take necessary steps to correct faulty or insufficient mechanism at pollution control. Also, to provide technical and financial assistance as well as guidance in implementing pollution control at all levels in the state. Also, to sponsor the research 
in the field of pollution control in the state. These are the various functions of state pollution control board. Thank you.